Oh, it sounds awesome. It sounds so good. Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Josh. Hi. And uh, normally we don't like to stand this close. A little awkward. But uh, we have a giant plane. A really giant plane. On the table, so there's not a lot of room. And now you and David went up to the Toledo show. Chad said specifically for each of us to come home with something interesting. Yeah. And this is mine. This is what Josh came home with. We bought both for, from the same guy. This was 125 and that was 100. So we're like, we can get this down to 200. Uh, that would be good. It's like, how much if we buy both? It's like, 150? Like, Take my money! I don't think that engine's ever ran. I mean, it is so clean. I can pull the spark plug off and get your opinion because you have a lot more knowledge about gas engines than I do. So this is a two channel airplane. Oh, this is a gallon and a half. That's what they have. I put 1.5 in it so we'd have room to slosh it. Because don't you want to slosh your own two gallon tank? Yes, it is. That's a lot of flying. Yeah, especially these gas planes just flip the fuel. That's gonna be awesome. You want me to power it on, Dave? Power on what? Want me to power it on? Um, yeah. Uh... That was a quick link. That's <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool. They have this hey, lit elevator. The ailerons aren't working. Oh, that's weird. Look, look at that. It has two servos for the elevator. You sure you want to fire that thing up down here? No, we're not firing. Oh, that's good. I gotta say. It's yeah. a little smoky down here. As a matter of fact, the one thing is, yeah, I just want to make sure it draws fuel. Oh, I don't I even gotcha. want to draw too much fuel inside because we're going to have to carry it upstairs and I'm afraid gotcha. that we'll, we'll plug the clumps and everything. All right. But uh, it's so cold upstairs. Yeah. It's possible. I gotcha. Um, there's a blade I can doll up really quick. Yeah, I hate to say it. I don't really know much science about what the gas engine, so I'm going to kind of lean on you pretty heavy because I just play with them until they run and then they, you know, fly Do you get it running or are you going to fly it today? Yeah, yes. the servos all work. I want to fly it. I I'm mean, sure the balance looks time. decent enough. But let's just take it up and have fun with it. And, and it flew Wait. once, right? <laughs> so. Well, maybe. We, so we heard. I, yeah. I mean, I think it flew once. Oops. The guy said, what, he had 10 flights on it or something? Or Well, yeah, since I think he got it and he put 10 flights on it. Yeah. But I don't know. I was... The funny thing was, is I was expecting like to grab the monocoat and kind of feel and like feel big holes and crunch marks, but it's not bad. But there are a couple spots, spots you can see where they put the cross screen uh, patches. Uh, so it's been cracked up a couple times. But hmm. the landing gear, the plates on that look like they haven't been ripped off before. Normally, when you see an old plane, you always see the damage oh, yeah, around yeah, the landing yeah. gear where it lost a gear. Why did you cut that? Huh? Well, because I didn't really buy a whole lot of uh, plastic tubings. Uh -huh. So Why this is, this is going to go. Well, this needs to be for gas, though. Okay. Yellow. I mean, I have. Tube. Is it tubing? But that that's not for uh, eat, eat it up. Yeah, you need oh, it specific, specifically. Yeah. I didn't realize we'll that. Just, we'll stick this yeah, down in there much. and then we'll stick the filler tube in. Okay. So you need so the fuel line tube that is only for glow? That's only for nitro, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, feel it. I actually even feel yeah, it. It feels stiffer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I didn't understand. Uh, this is this uh pump mm -hmm. is for glow, but we'll use it a couple times. Normally it's a yellow tube inside there as well. Oh. See that, but so that's it'll be, bad. It'll be fine. <laughs> this time. This time. Smart. That's what you kill a throttle or? Oh boy. I've never seen one without a kill button. Yeah, there's no kill button. There's no, uh, is there a primer ball button? There's no nope. primer no, ball no, button either. Than that. Yeah. yeah, you just draw the fuel up. Now one thing is I think we got the throttle all the way closed really tight. So generally you just close it. And I used to take a rag, like when they're idle, and just throw a rag into the prop and it would stop it. Wow. I don't think it's that safe. To. Or you can grab a you can grab a if you have a big spinner, you yeah. just take a spinner and just grab the spinner. You know what I mean? It's never but seen now we don't have a spinner. I can shut my you finger. Got a bloody finger, yeah. yeah it's, it's, already, the, uh, it's, the, it's already stop. gone. Yeah. Since we have no primer ball, do you want do you pull the plug out, spin it around to get to draw the fluid first? I just put my thumb on it and just draw it in. Oh, okay. And then after you draw it in a couple of times and you see it hit there really good, yep, yep. then I start you know, okay. playing with it. Ooh, nice. Oh, you got to see. The thing just scares me. Yeah. <laughs> it fires up. Well, we don't have any gas in it yet, so that's good. You never know. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Good. It's got to be in there. 
what you're doing now is just going up fuel into trying to still make it here. Hey, uh, can you cut me like a six inch length of uh, copper tube? That's thing. I want something else right here. Oh, well, that's. I thought I seen some, no? Is it? Is it? It's, I think it's not. Oh, okay. Here. Yeah, yeah. Sucking air. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, it's filling up really quick. Look, it's wow. almost full. Are you serious? It was doing it the whole time. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, sweet. So. You got plenty. Oh. Yeah, that's more than enough. Right. Dave, what's a band aid for in your finger? Um, <laughs> I was playing with the prop and it bit me <laughs> before it even started. Oh, wow. That's that cool. just. <laughs> look. That quick? That's. Look. That I'll is solid. Ready? Who needs a primer ball? Whoop! There it goes. Wow. All right, we got fuel there. <laughs> now did it come through the return line already too? Then does that got a return on? Yeah. There's the overflow. Is oh. That what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't have any spot to really put the overflow. Oh, on. there's no overflow. No. Oh Are you talking about for back pressure? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've never really ran on these. Uh, matter of fact, why don't we cut this short just so it doesn't dangle around and kink? Kink. <laughs> Cool. Well, I, I think we should just go upstairs and fly it. Let's yep. fly it. So what you're doing now is drawing, slowly drawing fuel in and trying to get it to fire. Oh, wow. What was that, that a backfire? I don't know. What is that? It doesn't sound good. What is that rattle? I think it's no. just inside the exhaust. I think it's the muffler. Yeah, I think it is too. I don't think it's Do anything Do you need bad. more throttle? Can you get me the gas tank with the crank thing? We'll shoot a little shot of fuel in the carburetor. Okay. The next thing we do is um, pull the plug out and see if we have any fuel in the cylinder. Oh, good idea. If the spark plug's not wet, then we're not getting any fuel. Any so it's wet? wet. Mm -hmm. no. Look down in that piston real quick. Look at this. Oh my gosh. That, I don't think that engine's ever even It ran. looks like it might have run. But not for long. But not, yeah, not very long at all. And that's an odd plug too. So let's shoot a little shot of uh, doing the carburetor real quick. Ready? Ooh, that sounded good. Awesome. Yeah. You can just That's put it on awesome. your, you know, have the trim up so it idles, and then when you want to shut it off, just run your trim all the way down. Beautiful. That works. Let's get a wing on it. Well, it's funny. Normally we avoid yeah, gas planes because all the headaches and everything. Right. Just so we know. Gas is easy though. Once you yeah. get them set, you don't have to play with the adjustment. I missed, I missed the extra now. Now I just want to take a receiver home and throw it in my extra and get that flying. Uh, Josh, can you move the ones? Hey, the other ones work. Do they Stop. work the right way? <laughs> no, we don't worry about that. Dude. <laughs> A little bit, right? Yeah. So it's at a, a good idle. <laughs> That's awesome. That was crazy how well that. Yeah, I was shocked. And it flies as good as it runs. It sounds so good. It's crazy. Like how? Uh, check your seat. You want to run it out there? Please. You think that's yeah. enough throw? Here. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Are you kidding? I'm like one quarter back. How far are you? Uh, at the front of the, or at the back of this. I'm right like here. half inch behind the stripe. Yeah. Oh, I'm on the stripe. You're on the stripe? Yeah, go up to the stripe. Look at that. Well, if, if we go from the leading edge, it's fine. Right. <laughs> oh my gosh, do we put tail weight in or yeah. do we just fly it viciously? Yes. Let's throw something in the back. Tie this to it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just duct tape a 2200 to the tail. 
I think actually, yeah. Yeah, 26 cc would be plenty on this thing. It does sound like a gasser, because normally I hate the nitro yes. sound. Here. It just sounds awful. <laughs> Can you put it on the tail? <laughs> now, this is so terrible. I can't believe we're doing this. <laughs> we're bad people. We are. We're gonna get hate mail. Do they know what we're doing? <laughs> no. yeah. Right now we're flooding the motor. Right? Right I don't think you would really flood it out though. As, 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 as long as the tank's not above the... Uh... Yeah. Alright. Oh my gosh. What? Are you serious? Yeah. It, are it's you quarter really inch back? Nose heavy. Are you quarter inch back? Here. Yeah. At, at, the, at the stripe. At the stripe. Wow. Yeah. But, it ain't it's real bad. No, it's working. Yeah, I'll sit on the back joint. I'm apprehensive. Probably way about the same as the motor. So. Yeah, put something more on it. I'm looking for some, some weight. All right, stand by. That's gonna suck if it falls off. <laughs> Somebody's gonna need something. It's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, just don't fly over cars. Yeah, hold on. That's not a good thing. job. I'll you know, the it. funny thing is, is there's a standard with electric and a standard with gas. Give me some rubber. I think we should be. I don't think we should be doing what we do with electrics with a big gas plane. <laughs> yeah, give me some rudder. I think I'm sorry. Right. Hold. Wait, is that sloppy? Let's try again. Let's try again. The anxiety it's better. Yeah, Where are you? Better. Probably workable. Yeah, I'm on like a like an inch behind. The yeah, that's good. That's workable. I never had a plane that you actually it's it's, it's easier to roll it than carry it? to carry it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Should I put a shot of fuel on it? Yeah, I don't know. The uh, the tank is low. Yeah. So I don't think oh, we really okay. flood it. Um, so is that usual how you do it? You have the the gas tank lower. Than now the usually engine? you want it neutral, right, with the motors. So you want it at the same height. But once it starts sucking, it really doesn't make. Yeah, I was gonna say most of the newer ones they have the pr the primer bulbs on them too. It's so you know so what's that? A that, primer bulb. That it's goes good. on the top. You push it, and it actually sucks and shoots fuel right to the carb, and then it's got a return line that goes to the tank. So it, it fills the carb up full of fuel. Then right. once it starts, the carb will automatically <laughs> suck it in. Ah, you clear. Like a weed eater. All right, let's yeah. go. That's pretty crazy. Let's fly. There we go. guys yep. that's good though right you just want to choke it um so how's the controls it's good docile oh it sounds awesome it sounds so good i just can't believe i, I really thought we'd have a lot more work into this <laughs> is that full yeah look at that that's gonna that's gonna tell my guy no problem <laughs> Hover it. <laughs> nice. No it does hover. Whoa. Oh, it's crazy. Josh Scott, you want to fly it? Yeah. All right, here. Here you go, brother. It's just like, okay. Wind. Yeah. So good. <laughs> what do you think, brother? Yeah, it's nice. You're doing good. Now, you flew the, uh, the Mustang. Mustang. And you rocked the Mustang. You had no issues with that. You know what this actually kind of reminds me of? Though, is the Franken plane. <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. 
I hope that gentleman <laughs> ends up watching this episode. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. this is pretty sweet. I, I wonder if he has a computer. I'm not sure. <laughs> if not, I think I have his card, so I'll hunt him down and thank him. Good job, Josh. Thanks. Awesome. That's pretty nice. How's the like sticks? Otherwise, it's huh. fine. As a matter of fact, you want to fly it? I want to fly yes. it. Who wants to fly it I first? Want to fly Let David fly it. <laughs> Just clear the throttle out every once in a while. Okay, it does pitch a bit when you give it more throttle, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit. I don't really notice. <laughs> So when you say clear out, you just mean... Just, just, yeah, when it's low, just, just give it a little shot of throttle once in a while. Uh, full rudder. Okay, cool. Can you imagine if you had no tail weight? Yeah, it's pretty docile. It's really simple. Yeah, without any tail weight, this would be crazy. Oh, look out, he's coming in. Get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't trust that. Yeah, yeah, awesome. Probably shouldn't be pushing. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> There's something called flutter. <laughs> oh, we don't believe in that. Jeez. It's not bad. That oh, is beautiful. This is my first time flying a gas airplane. Oh, you that too, you Trim it a bit. It's still. Now, Chad, don't go crazy like the electrics. Yeah, be careful on the rudder. Um, yeah, the rudder's got a lot. Yeah, the rudder almost has more than the uh, ailerons. <laughs> yeah. I think it scares me a bit flying it because oh, really? I I <laughs> never flown any the gas. Noise is so nice. Um, I've never flown any gas airplanes and I don't know how to behave on the throttle or... Well, the funny thing is throttle was always not trusted when I was young because I always had cheap, you know, second-hand engines. It's got yeah. so much power. So you always flew, like, close enough to land because <laughs> you never knew when it was going to get out. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, Just, it is. It sounds like a real plane coming. Oh, I love yeah. it. Oh, yeah, it's bad. I mean, it's got so much power. All right, Josh, you want to land it? Ah, sure. Thanks, brother. Imagine trying to do one of these, a gas engine FPV. Uh, <laughs> we would, poor GoPro. Hope that tower is not too close. <laughs> well, if you were going to hit it, you would hit it. Remember that trench out there, too. Wherever it's at. I'm probably going to end up doing the walk of shame. That's better than... There's no shame in shame. We've accepted it. Watch out for that trench, though. Oh, oh nice. Oh, oh hey, there we go. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, man. Yeah. I'm back in the day. Here, I'll just bring it back up. Oh, awesome. I can't believe we're taxing an airplane on grass. <laughs> Uh, gas <laughs> yeah, gas is definitely the way to go. Well, like next on gas, I mean flight test. <laughs> flight test just got a lot more expensive. <laughs> so that must be really exciting for you to purchase something that looks like it might not have much potential and oh. actually like go through the whole process and get it up and flying. It really it flew great. It was a real diamond in the rough because I got to, to remember what the wonderful feeling of flying a big gasser is. You yeah. got to fly a gasser for the yeah, first time. Yeah, first time. I've flown nitro before, but yeah. it's different. Our favorite Swede and Chad even got to, to experience the awesomeness that is gas. I think we, we've kind of come into a new chapter of life in flight test where we're going to see more gas planes in it because Honestly, Nitro was a pain to get started, getting going. This thing, after sitting so long, flew so good. Yeah. It was just a something really... about that sound. Oh it's yeah. Such a cool sound. Throaty sound, and, and it flew so easy. And, and ultimately, we had what um, two servos, a rebuilt gas tank. It was a very minimal time. I mean, the best 75 bucks we ever spent. Yeah. And on that note, there was a lot of people that were involved in this that are oftentimes out of the camera that we really want to give a shout out to. And it's mainly Wayne, our sound guy, um, Alex, our product specialist, and uh, also, where's Chris Roncaglione? There he is. Uh, Chris has always been, he's been in many different challenges and he's always there to help us pick up the pieces and put them back together. So as you guys are going to see, we have an amazing flight test crew that's behind the scenes. Every bit is incredible. Um, as, as, everyone, we are. as we that's are, what that's what I was almost going to say. Good sound. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how about this? Even more incredible than we yeah, are. That that sounds sounds, that's a little, yeah, that sounds better. That sounds better. And you might notice that on the flight test website, there's a new link called flight test partnership and that's there to make sponsorship and advertising easier for you. So if you want more information on that, just click, click that the link. button. Yeah. All right, you want to go fly this? Again? I want to fly. I'll grab the okay. transmitter. You go and grab the airplane. You go grab the transmitter. Yeah. Okay. 
Are you sure that? Are you sure you got that? I'm using both hands. Okay. Don't drop it. Yeah, hey, can you get the door for me? Uh, yeah. Be there in just a second. Sure you don't want help? I, I, I'm good.